Hey everybody, are you ready for tonight? I have my black eyed peas going and I'm making a big pot of some queso. This queso comes from one of our favorite restaurants in Texas. I found this copycat recipe online probably 12, 14 years ago. I bet it was 14 because we moved away from Texas and I was having a hankering for it because they don't have Casa Ole up here in Oklahoma. But I found this and it's really, really, really close. So I'm gonna get y'all over here and let you see what I got going. Hang on just a sec. The original recipe for this makes a ton. I think it was actually for a restaurant, but I had to like divide it in half so that I don't have a humongous amount. It still makes a lot, but we eat a lot of queso and you can even freeze it if you need to. So what I have done, I took a complete block of Velveeta cheese or American cheese, um, and it's the two pound block, which I think is 32 ounces. So it's the regular size block. And I shredded it, hang on just a sec. I shredded it and I put it in this pot. And this is a good size, it's not a humongous stock pot, but it's it's a decent size. So I shredded all of that block and I put it down in here and I'm gonna take, this is about one and a quarter cup of water. And you pour that into your cheese. And I'm going to get it started. I'm gonna do this on medium though. It takes quite a while to cook because you don't have your heat up very high because you're, you're really supposed to do this in a double boiler and I do not have one. So I just have to go really slow and stir, stir, stir when I do it. So I just have to stand here for quite a while and do this. If you've got a double boiler, you just have to stir it every little bit, but I just have to make sure that that cheese does not start sticking to the bottom of my pan. So while this is getting going, I'm gonna show you over here the vegetables that we're gonna put in it. So I have a saute pan here and I am going to put in, it's about, it equaled about 1.6 tablespoons. So I just did a very heaping one and a half tablespoons of water. And you just pour in there. You just gotta have some moisture for this. Now I have um, a heaping half a cup of chopped onions that I'm gonna put in there. I chop them up, I like mine chopped up pretty good. I don't like it really chunky. I have a heaping third cup of celery chopped up really good. And a heaping third cup of bell pepper chopped up really good. And then about one and a half tablespoons of chopped jalapeno. Alrighty. And stir on my cheese a second. Okay. I'm going to turn this on to a, about a medium high. Let's get these vegetables all mixed up in here. And I'm going to get these vegetables to just like a light boil. They're going to start producing a little bit of their own juices in addition to that water that I have in there. So I don't want to go any higher than a medium. So let's see. That should be about right. So when this gets to going, I will be back with you. I wanted to come back and show you what was going on over here. This cheese is almost completely melted. I've just been stirring, stirring, stirring. Make sure it doesn't stick. And it just has just a little bit of clumpiness to it. So it is almost ready. 
I just have to keep on a stirring it. But this, uh, so I've been sauteing these pretty good. And about as long as it takes to get that cheese to melt all the way is about how long I'm going to be cooking this. Those onions are starting to get a little bit translucent. And I can really smell everything. The celery, the peppers, the onions. So far these are looking really good. Go back to stir this. I'll be back. All right, these uh, vegetables are pretty well done, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn them off. They look really good. I don't wanna get to a point where they start browning or anything. And my cheese, it is so close. So, so close. You just little chunks every once in a while. I don't want it completely melted. Probably the more I stir, the better it'll get. Okay, we are there. It is nice and creamy. I'm going to turn this fire down to a low. And these vegetables, I'm going to put them in here. Make sure I get all of that off of there. Okay. Stir it up in here. And we want to let this cook on a low temperature for about five minutes. Just so that those flavors can get all mingled up into that cheese. And then I will come back. And we will take a taste test together. So I'll be back in just a little bit. Before I go showing you, well, I'll show you what it looks like. I won't show you what it tastes like yet. I just wanted to tell everybody, thank you so much. I was looking at my followers and subscribers the other day and I was like, wow, I can't believe it. It's just super exciting. And I'm really excited about 2023 coming. Um, I'm going to be expanding my garden some more outside and doing a lot more cooking and a lot more canning and things like that. So I'm going to share all of that with you too. And maybe you'll get to meet Gentry. Oh, you'll come over here. I don't know if you can see her. You can see her butt and her tail wagging. <laughs> but she's usually right underneath my feet whenever I'm cooking. She waits for any crumbs that are there to fall so she can have them. But now this, this is Casa Ole Queso. If you've ever been there, you know what the queso is like. And it doesn't taste exactly like it in the beginning because it takes a little while for all those flavors to mingle together. And you make it as spicy as you want it. If you want to put more than the amount that I put in there for jalapenos, you go right ahead. It is just up to you how spicy you want it. But, um, I hear you, sweet girl. I'm going to have to hurry and get this over with. Let's try it. Mmm, mmm. Got to have another one. Woo, I got a jalapeno. That was a spicy bite. Probably one right there, too. You can see, see that green? Mm. But I do, I hope you guys have a prosperous 2023. And I hope you keep following and sharing and subscribing and all of those things as I'm on, I'm on YouTube, I'm on Rumble, and I'm also on Facebook. So you follow me just wherever 
and I will try to keep bringing you lots of good stuff. Y'all have a good one and go make you some. Bye.